High pressure, outstanding jujitsu, great wrestling, and domination are common for the best representatives of sport. The Brazilian Dragon made his debut in the UFC in February of the last year and has already had four fights, leaving his opponents no chances. Since then, he moved up to heavyweight from light heavyweight in order to have more matches and soon became known as a great entertainer. That pushed the league to promote him to a title shot. Soon, he's going to share the octagon with the titled kickboxer Jairzinho Rosenstreich, ranked number 9. For this occasion, we made a compilation of the best Almeida performances. Make yourself comfortable and get ready to head off to the infinite MMA world. You're watching MMA Rocket. Let's go. Twenty twenty one, Jailton's doing great. His record is thirteen inside the distance victories and only two losses. His winning streak counts eight. He holds the Thunder Fight Light Heavyweight Championship. With that being said, Almeida faced run. Five months after the victory at Dana White Contender Series, an opponent for Almeida was finally announced. His compatriot Danilo Marcus and Jailton had a lot in common in terms of style and fight strategy. Neither of them didn't like to go full distance, and both of them were amazing jitsers. Marquez already had three fights in the league and had finished two opponents with only KO loss in the latest bout. He was and there was a reason for that. Jailton conducted a master class for his opponent, extremely bright debut of a promising light heavyweight in the most hard to do it. Uh, I'm very happy. I was so happy and happy to be here again, just like in Contender Series. I can't even, there's not words to describe how happy I am to be here, and hopefully it's going to be a regular thing. I'm going to be here many, many times. Muito obrigado. Three months later, the second Almeida appearance in the UFC was announced, and the Brazilian Dragon had to face Russian fighter Maxim Grishin. Jilton was working hard to prepare for the fight and was Grishin had to withdraw from the fight due to personal reasons. Because of a heavyweight cutting, Almeida didn't want to withdraw from the fight and the UFC set up another adversary in the face of Parker Porter. But the problem was that the opponent performed in the heavyweight division. The Brazilian Dragon had used to fight in weight division under 265 pounds in other leagues. The latest case took place in March of 2019, so it wasn't the first time for him and he agreed to this venture. Jailton had quite a few things to worry about. His vis-a-vis -vis held a streak of three UFC victories and was about to join top 15. He was a serious opposition to Almeida, but the latest wasn't worrying and even was glad to move up to heavyweight because he could stop caring about his diet and eat pizza during the fight week. He spoke about his opponent like this. Yeah, I was very happy with the name. You know, it's not something that was within our plans, but, you know, thinking about it, you know, it was a good matchup. It was a fight that, you know, I think I can, can get a win and... It would bring a lot of advice to me, you know, just going from light heavy to heavyweight, you know, the whole, everything around the fight, not just the fight itself, you know, I think it's gonna, gonna help a lot with my name. Parker had never heard Jilton's name before, but he signed the contract anyway, and after watching a couple of Almeida performances, recognized a serious opposition in the face of the Brazilian Dragon. Um, he's, a, he's a very grappling heavy guy, he's really strong in his grappling, he's also an accomplished kickboxer, so he's pretty well-rounded, but most of his fights are come by, uh, you know, his finishes come by submission or, or ground and pound, so we're expecting him to come out with some heavy pressure, looking for that takedown, um, and you know, being the, the lighter guy stepping up to heavyweight, well, obviously expect him to be a little quick. Porter weighed 265 pounds compared to Jelton's 224 pounds. But even so, Almeida was considered a negative 600 betting favorite. An opponent tap out. God, he's gonna tap. There it is. Chayilton out the UFC. It was a second victory in the UFC, and he celebrated with a stylish, absolutely incredible prospective heavyweight. With this very aim, management made a decision to set up a match against a top opponent to raise Almeida in the rankings. It was number 15 in the UFC heavyweight rankings, Shamil Abdurakimov, and had put Jailton to the test. The Brazilian Dragon was given the chance to show himself in front of the giant crowd at UFC 279, where he was supposed to shock the fans again. But his opponent had to withdraw from the fight due to visa issues. Undefeated debutante with 8-0 record representing Sweden, Anton Turkalj, came on as a substitute. He had proved himself in Brave FC and had won a Dana White Contender Series by unanimous decision. The Pleasure Man got that fight on short notice, but he asked to fight under 220 pounds because there wasn't enough time to lose weight and prepare well. The UFC met the needs of Anton and announced the match. Jilton signed the contract and picked up the check. He was considered a negative 660 betting first. Wow. Too easy! Another quick night at the office for Malia Gino! Stock went up.
First of all, thank you for uh, uh, um, for for your commentary and. Uh, you know, that's not, we, we train so hard in the gym exactly for that. It's a process. I mean, we work so hard over there. So people, I mean, I understand that people look may look at it and say, okay, yeah, that kind of looked easy. But no, it's a process. We go all the way back there and we put so much of an effort during training so we can come over here and it make to make it look easy in your eyes. But it's a very hard working process and we go all out of the gym. The latest Almeida fight at the moment. After a series of cancelled contests, Almeida finally faced Russian MMA player Shamil Abdurakimov. Abrek had remarkable boxing and wrestling line, and Shamil started to lose matches. Elton got an opportunity to beat one of the tops and enlist him in the contender row. The contest took place at UFC 281 in Brazil. For Almeida, it was a great chance to please the countryman crowd and pave his 232 pounds and was considered a negative 907 in terms of betting that looked like a bout between an elementary school pupil and a UF punch with his right hand. Almeida, however, withstood the shot for a takedown for the oncoming force, Mangiacinho, China. division and showed the, the heavyweight division has been in bloom for the last two years. Loads of amazing fighters appear on the stage and Jailton has won previously. Only Kamza Chimaev was able to achieve that. Intriguing bouts, increasing competition and interest from the fans enlisted Almeida into the top. Since John Jones was crowned as a heavyweight champion, he set his own rules like he used to in light heavyweight, and there are a few players who can stand up to the greatest. We sincerely hope Almeida will get a title shot and provide decent resistance. That's it for today. Share your thoughts on Jailton Almeida in the comments section below. Leave a like and subscribe to our channel. MMA Rocket was with you. Bye.